Now let's go a bit farther into the rejected area analysis and talk about targets. Target is effectively what you are performing the projected area analysis on. And so in this case, we can choose either a set, in this case, say the shown components, which are the rotor, the tail, and the fuselage, or we can choose a specific geometry in the model. And that includes either the rotor, the fuselage, or the tail. So let's take a look at what happens if we only run on the rotor geometry, in this case, in the Z direction and click start. So you can see that we've got a boundary for each isolated component because each of those are isolated, unconnected meshes. We go to a hidden view, you can see there. We can even shade these. Um, and so that has performed an area analysis of the rotor blades themselves in the Z direction. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. And now we'll do just the fuselage to reiterate the point. Now, because we're only including that one component, the rotor, the tail, everything else is going to be ignored. Again, here we are, we've run this and it's done in the Z direction. If we choose, we can repeat this and run it in the X, run it in the Y. And so now we have the frontal area, the side area, and the top down area of the fuselage on these three different meshes. And so that is how you can use target to isolate the component that you're interested in. And then in other videos, we'll talk about boundary and direction.